Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Coffee and Comics. Um, today we are actually at a comic book store. Comic book store. We're at a coffee shop. Yeah. Not a comic book store. More coffee, less comics. Yes. Uh, the reason why we're at a coffee shop is because we both live near this Starbucks, not the comic book store. So, which by the way, we kind of need to get a place if we're going to be doing this. Okay, you know. Or we can just make it a thing where we randomly do it from different places, and if people start catching on to it, and then they show up and they're in the background. Like, oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. But all right. So uh, today we're going to talk about some stuff. There's a there's a lot of stuff. How you doing? What is that? Oh, we're yeah. doing uh, it's a mic. It's a mic. Oh, it's a mic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff we're going to talk about. Uh, sending messages to the mother Yes. No, um, there's uh, a crap ton of surprises. That clip, that thing that we watched? Yes. We're going to talk about that? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, community and how the guy that left is back yeah. and now is making it amazing. Yeah. Uh, Brian Cranston is Lex Luthor. Yeah. Uh, cool. The Rock as uh, John Stewart. And... Um, Paul renders that man. Nice. So, also, oh, also, Where do you want to start? Where do you want also, to start? I read that there's uh, somehow Wonder Woman's gonna have a Kryptonian heritage. How make how that makes sense? I don't know, but we we'll try to figure it. Out. All right. Also, what are we gonna be drawing today? Uh, Ant Man. We're gonna draw Ant Man today. Ant Man. I guess in the spirit of Paul Rudd, oh, okay. announcing the Paul Rudd. So, so Paul Rudd tried okay. to, to capture the likeness. Tried. Okay. So, uh, also, how was the uh, second anime? Second great. anime was great. Man. We had a big turnout. I actually sold a lot of prints there. So, that's about all I saw. I didn't right. walk around and see second anime. Right. From my table, second anime went really well. All right. Also, there was a lot of Attack of the Titans. Kind of people walking around, you know, those guys in those brown coats. Oh, with the I, I was gonna ask one of them. What, I, what is that? I was wondering why why there were so many, right? And yeah. so I've been watching it on uh, Fanimation. Mm -hmm. I can see why now. Oh, you've been watching it, the show? Yeah, it's it's pretty yeah. amazing. Is it a live action show? Or no, no, it's an it's an anime. Okay. And it's in Japanese. It's pretty amazing, though. Like the concept. Out. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Is it something you're going to explain to me now, or should I just uh, you'll research have to, it? Uh, you'll have to watch it, okay? Yeah, because it's it's kind of hard to explain, but the same type of step, similar. But we got to stay on top of this. I, you know, honestly, I only have that on the brain right now. What, what do you mean? So you every, mean, everything else you mean, that you mean this right here, this uh, Wonder Woman 2011 test pilot that was horribly looking like Iron Man? Can, all right, let's. Can we be fair and then do a positive talk? Two thousand and one unaired, unaired pilot. By the way, it yeah. says unaired. Yeah. You know why it's unaired? Oh, I know why it's unaired. Because they just took Iron Man and put a woman in it and no suit. Well, the suit. For what was there, I enjoyed seeing the suit. Right. But it wasn't. It wasn't a suit that takes itself seriously. I think they very openly mocked the suit. When but I she say, wore it again right. in the next scene. Right, but when I say suit, I mean she doesn't... It wasn't a suit that does anything. She right. doesn't fly. One woman flies. What was up with that? She doesn't have an invisible jet. Supposedly the jet's supposed to go so fast that it looks invisible. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. That's their uh, logic? Um, also, she runs Danis Garen Airlines. Or Airlines. That is scaring industry. Uh -oh. Which, by the way, that's my fault. That's unprofessional. Um, yeah, that's that, is, that is scary industries. Does that sound any kind of familiar? I, uh, to be fair, I don't follow Wonder Woman anywhere else, but uh, it was a chore to finish that. Yeah. It really was. Yes, it was. By the way, they don't mention that they're doing the new 52 Wonder Woman, where she's already, this is already three years into her being in America. Yeah. And she's already been to New York. She 
he's already had a relationship with the, uh, the cop, the uh, CIA or government handler, which they lived together for two years and had a relationship. I didn't even catch that. Was that information given in the episode that no, we watched? No, but I read, when the New 52 came out, I read the Justice League, and that's how Wonder Woman was introduced in Justice League. Okay. Was the, the handler introduced her to... Yeah, brought Justice her to the suits. Right. So. Uh, I think for a, a pilot episode, I think there should have been a little bit more origin story involved in it. Right. I mean, for us who don't really follow Wonder Woman or know what to look for or what to be disappointed by, right? I could have used something like that. Why was she wonderful? How come she could run down that guy wearing heels? She's supposed to fly, and yeah, it's she doesn't have super speed. I'm kind of upset that you showed me that because I'm going to be thinking about that. <laughs> I just finished Dexter. <laughs> I, right? Oh yeah, I know. And I was very it was upset horrible. About that. I couldn't. It stop was thinking horrible about it. because he drove his boat into the storm and somehow ends from Miami and somehow ends up in Alaska. Is that that's where he was? Right. right. Okay. So for you at home that don't have a map, um, say Florida is down <laughs> here. Okay. Alaska is up here. So in order to crash your boat. Somehow you would have had to swim around New York and Canada to get to Alaska without a, being uh, seen. What do you call it? He did a Dark Knight Rises from the pit to Gotham City with no right. explanation. On how he got there. I think, okay, there were a lot of things that bothered me about that, but I, I can get into it, but maybe we'll put it off till later. Right. The, the reason I bring that up is because I could not stop thinking of anything except right. for the way they ended Dexter. Right. And somehow his sister gets shot, gets shot in the stomach, gets operated on, it's fine, then somehow it gets up here. But do you think it's the guy who went into the hospital? Because it was a good minute between the time he went in no. and Dexter No, she, she was already claimed brain dead. By the way, if you get shot here, this has no affection to going right now. I think my biggest problem with all, like, I get, let's kill his sister, and it's going to destroy everything that he's built as a human, right. and all that, right. blah, 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 blah. Right. I think the thing that really bothers me is the entire season, he's learning, I am a guy, I right. have feelings, I right. develop attachments. Right. At the end of the story, when he's finally met the woman that he can be completely himself, right. he has a son who's coherent right. and aware. Right. They're off living in Argentina. Right. The entire world thinks he's dead. Right. His sister is no longer keeping him there. Right. So instead of going there, he goes to Alaska and becomes a lumber man. A, lug, a lumberjack. Which, by the way, he had a chance to go and be fine. That's he could have gone on the bus That's exactly. and everything to fine. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he couldn't leave because Deborah shot and he got to go. But that was closed. There right. was finalized and then. Right. Okay. Uh, we, yeah. oh, look, we, we're, right, getting off, we're getting off yeah. topic here. I'm sorry. I tried not to. I know. Yeah. I know. No, no, I know. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, so. All right. Paul Rudd is Ant Man. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of people are like, there's a mixture of a lot of people going, oh, this is the best decision ever. And a lot of people are like, what the fuck is Daniel Marvel? Yeah. Um, listen. There's a lot of fanboys out there that immediately, when they hear something that they don't like, yeah, they just immediately just they abandon ship. Yeah, they freak out. Now, I've been here with them and everything they've done. I know. Thus now, far. Chris Hardwick, that does the nurse, yeah. has said a thing on his podcast saying there's a saying that he uses saying he wishes to review it, then review it. Yeah. So view it, then review it is what should everyone do? Yeah. You know, see how it goes, and if it was horrible, then go crazy on Twitter or Facebook or, you know, yeah. stuff like that. For example, Heath Ledger being the Joker. What? Right. Yeah, everyone would see it. And, it's and like, like, they're like, oh, that blew my mind. So, obviously, I think Marvel did another great job of casting someone that you would normally would not see in a Marvel movie. Yeah. Or a superhero movie. Anyways. Or a Michael Myers movie. Wait. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
I say Ant Man. I say Paul Rose Ant Man. Good job. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm good with that. I'm on board. Um, every iteration I've seen of Ant Man, right? He's kind of a jerk. You're right. I don't like his character. Right. I think Paul Rudd is one of those guys who could play the jerk, mm -hmm. but at the same time be the main character of the movie. In the same way that like Tony Stark, right. played by Robert Downey, was like, obviously if you knew this guy in person, you'd think he was an asshole. Right. But as an audience member, it's like, yeah, I'll watch this guy for the whole movie. Totally. So I think Paul Rudd could do that. Totally. I'm excited. I'm excited too. All right. Next one. Oh, by the way, Edgar Wright writing it? And oh, yeah. it? Yeah. Please. Speaking of, I saw World's End. Yes. And I really was stoked by it. Yeah, My wife kind of got turned off in the last five minutes, right. but I loved it all the way through. Oh, yeah. It, it's great. It's fantastic. All right. Next up. Uh, the Rock. As John Stewart. Stewart. Now, he has, he's, he has that, like, military yeah. stamina and, like, stature. Yeah. Which John Stewart was. He was from the military. He was a sniper from the military and then became a Green Lantern. Yeah. Now... I'm going to ditch this uh, track and draw ball. Let's <laughs> 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 Sorry. So, I mean, I think I'm... It's kind of maybe a little of a stretch. A little. Not like a huge stretch. I think it makes complete Hollywood sense. Complete Hollywood sense. Yeah. Yes. And I think, honestly, I think he could do it. I don't think it would be terrible. That my first choice would be Idris Alba. Yes. I, I I don't even think I would consider anybody beyond Idris Alba. But I don't think you can cross Marvel with DC though. Yeah. As far as their actors go. Yeah. Because he's I mean, already the guardian of the, of the universe for Thor. So do you think it's because of the success of it? Yeah. Because. Um, I mean, you gotta look at uh, Halle Berry as Catwoman slash Storm. We, we don't speak of that. No, we don't speak of that. Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds, Deadpool slash Green Lantern. <laughs> I'd go Deadpool more. Yeah, but... Green uh, it wasn't his fault. You remember what happened to Deadpool at the right. end of that movie. Right, but Green Lantern wasn't Ryan Reynolds' fault. Green Lantern yeah. was more... I don't think Deadpool Hollywood, was his fault either. Hollywood going, listen, we know what we're doing, kind of thing. Which they clearly didn't. Uh, okay. Um, Wonder Woman having a. Are we back on that one? No, we're back on Wonder Woman having a Kryptonian heritage. Okay. Which, by the way, makes no sense because she's from Thanagara, not Krypton. <laughs> it's a whole other place. Yeah. It's not like the East Coast and the West. Coast. Right. It's because if we're go if we're going. Now, this is just something I read. Okay. It's not... They immediately, like, two, like, ten minutes after I read that, another report came out going, just kidding, mm. Wonder Woman doesn't have Kryptonian heritage. Okay. Really, because as soon as I think people saw that, immediately they read on Twitter, we are going to kill you. Yeah. Or some lines of that. So, like, oh, let's not do that. That's bad. Let's not say that. Yeah. Um... Again, because Wonder Woman is a goddess, and she's from a Thanissarian. Was she created from clay? No. I've heard something along no. those lines. She wasn't no. molded. To no, her. she wasn't molded. Okay. Ares and her mom had sex. Yeah. And uh, popped out Wonder Woman. Nice. So I didn't know that. Yes. So. Okay. Um, so I don't. Care. I don't. Care. I wouldn't want to see that happen. But. I mean, you already have too many people in the Man of Steel movie. <laughs> and then to say that Wonder Woman has a Kryptonian heritage. Yeah. Are you trying to tank DC? I mean, uh, really. Yeah. I mean, you already have half the country not on board with Ben Affleck and Ben Affleck. I think that's one of those things that's just going to have to see itself through. No, yeah. I'm just saying that but, you're yeah, making you're already, it worse. Yeah. It's almost like you have... Maybe they're competing with Michael Bay. No, it's almost like you have a fractured leg, like it can heal. Mm -hmm. Just give it two weeks and you'll be fine. No. But then when you say that Wonder Woman has a Kryptonian heritage, that's like going, listen, I'm going to go slam dunk off a... No. You know, but do a half marathon. Yeah, with a Fried fractured kick. leg. Yeah, yeah, with a fractured leg. That doesn't help your situation. It won't help DC's situation. Yeah. At all. I'm... 
honestly, right now, everything I've seen from DC, like actually watched it on the television, right. I'm, I'm, I've been impressed so far. I don't think I've been unimpressed with anything. Um, yeah, I can't really think of it. Yeah, I just, I mean, they, when DC Comics actually has a hold of something uh-huh. and they're doing it, yeah, they do it great. Like Arrow, yeah. I would say Arrow is amazing. We could we could do a whole segment about Arrow right. weekly if right. we wanted to. Smallville was amazing. I mean, we keep coming back to these things, but yeah. it's because there's a we, reason. There's a reason why we keep coming back to this stuff. It's because DC Comics doesn't have a great track record with anything hugely popular. Yeah. Case Unless in it's point. Batman, Superman. Case in point, right here. Yeah. So. I know. Um, by the way, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> that was 40-something minutes. I'll never get back. It was amazing. Oh, God. Um, amazing. Although it was nice to see Elizabeth Hurley. I guess. Yeah, which, by the way, she does not look like she's aged. Yeah. At all. But she didn't do anything except get snatched by the rope and scorpioned across the hallway. Right. But, man, it's still nice to see. Still nice to see. All right, and then some uh, big, great Man Steel news is that Brian Cranston, I've read, has been confirmed to be elected. Yeah, I'm good with that. Which is that's gonna be great. Yeah. Now I'm hoping that Lex Luthor is not like the main guy, main villain for the thing. Yeah. Because you have you need somebody bigger for a Batman Superman team up or what? I would like to see a team up, a bad, a villain team up as well uh, as to you know counterbalance all the heroes there. So who would who would you uh, in an ideal world where you get to decide the, the bad guy? The Man well, of Steel too. I would want to say the Joker, but the Joker is already you, they have like you can't touch that. Right yeah, there. you can't mention they haven't mentioned anything with the Joker, so uh, I would say Ra's al Ghul and Lex Luthor team up. Because the League of Assassins can be already in Metropolis, and they just got know. Can I be the bandwagon guy and say I'd like to see Deathstroke show up? Deathstroke is a um, Arrow. He yeah, is, but he's very much Batman as he is Arrow. Yeah, but he's not. He's more a. He's more of a Nightwing uh, Arrow. Is it villain. because we have a successful version of Deathstroke on TV right now that no, you wouldn't touch it's, it? it's more the comic book. If you're going comic book wise, mm-hmm. you're trying to stay comic book tone to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we you can't. I mean, though that would be a good idea, but yeah. you can't. I would say you can't do that because that's it's just. It, 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 sorry, that's cool. That's my. I opinion. think you're wrong. But. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it would make sense. Yes. To have Deathstroke and I just think it would bring a balance with him being like the, the evil version of Batman, right. the bad guy version of Batman, right? And whoever would be the bad guy equivalent of Superman, Lex Luthor. Okay, I, I, I'm, I not saying, I'm not saying I'm not saying. Look, if they go that route, that's fine. I would I'd be on board with it, but it's more of an Arrow villain, and, and I'm good with him on Arrow. Yeah, so we don't even have to. Right. Uh, I'm just excited to see it. I'm sure it'll be something uh, worth talking about when it comes out. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it'll be exciting too. Yeah. All right. Now, have we talked? We talked about all this stuff so far. What's that? Uh, community. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that. It's it's back. It is back. And it has the guy. Who's the guy left? Dan again? Harmon. It has Dan Harmon. Yeah. Back. Now, the Nicolas Cage episode. Yeah, I just saw that yesterday. How awesome was that? You know what I think the problem with season four was? Is they got into this groove where, let's make Abed cool. (laughs) And it's like, yeah, it worked the first couple of times because Abed is like the opposite of cool. Right. So when you see him cool, it's like, all right, that's cool. But then you start getting episode after episode of, Abed's the best and everybody's going to follow Abed. It's like... It was nice to see him have a nerdy breakdown about of something. Keep and on. it was, you know, you get to see the actor stretch beyond his 
Abra it's right. like this. And it talks like this. Like you get to see him expand. But it was just I'm nice to, to see Abed right. go keep crazy going. for a minute. I'm going. I'm going to keep on going. Um, what did you think about the way they uh, marketed that? From, I thought that was a good idea. From the, the creator of Community Season 1 through 3 comes Community Season 5. I thought that was good because they're kind of playing off Season the, 4 sucks. Yeah. yeah. I'm over here by myself in Starbucks. There's a guy. What was that? Power? Yeah. It's all power. See, stupid me forgot that we've been using this computer for a while before we even filmed this. With a microphone <laughs> drained all. Right, and I just realized, I looked up there and I was like, oh, it's almost dead. So, and rather it cutting off in mid-sentence, I just pointed it in. So. That was with my rag. Right, sorry about that. That's but no. Um, no, I'm saying sorry to the viewers. Oh, you were so, so wondering what is going on here. Kind of um, no, that whole intro to that, I think were, they A, were making fun of, like, movies that have that big, you know, overhyped, yeah. Trailers and saying sorry at the same time. Yeah. They're like, sorry for season four. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing. Apparently. <laughs> That's our bad. But so we're yeah. back now. It was, and yeah, and that was the thing. It was like, of course that first episode is going to be really good. Because right. of all the pressure is on that first episode. Right. But then I got another episode, like not even three days later, I think. That was, yeah, it was just right up there. And what I can't wait for is once they build their momentum in the story world, mm -hmm. that they can start jumping off and doing those uh, those episodes that are like theme based, like right. a zombie episode or paintball. Episode. Right. Paintball episodes. I'm are excited amazing, for those way. to come back. Right. I think in season four there was probably three episodes that I actually liked, and then a few that were okay, and right. the rest was just like watching Wonder Woman. <laughs> I know. But I want to see Inspector Space Time. Yeah. I want to see more of those. I feel like they pretty much killed it in season four, though. They have to bring it back. It's like, let's do the ultimate Inspector Space Time, and then they killed it. They have to bring it back. They brought the little funny bald guy from, uh, was it from Bridesmaids? Right. Yeah. Uh, no, they don't have to bring it back, because it's, that was a great. I like what they're doing with Troy now. Right. Because one of my things that I hated the most was Troy had this character where he was becoming actually a character. Right. And in season four, they completely just took the British storyline, smashed it together, okay, they're together, get over it. And then he was the sidekick for the whole season. I was like, what happened? He was building, he actually had his own storyline. He was separate from everybody else. And then he went back to being, so I like the whole idea of, I don't know who I am. Right. Your Troy's, whole existence is based on your relationship with another dude. Troy's uh, Joe McHale? Troy is uh, Donald Glover. Okay. Joe McHale, he's always bringing it. He's always. Right. Never. And I'm tired. Yeah. If we come back, we come back. If we don't, we don't. What do you think of the guy that they're replacing Pierce with? He's alright. I mean, he needs. We just need a little more time with him. And I'm sure he'll, you know. I'm totally into that character. I think I would like to see more of Jeff and that guy sharing an office. That could be a show on its own. Right. With community being the side stories that come. I could watch Jeff. Wait, and so that you're telling crazy me that guy. the show that's been on longer than your made up show? Yeah. You want that to be the side show? And I'm then, saying and I then would the be new okay made up with show it. that you just made. Yeah, is like listen, this is the main show. Yeah, and let's have community that's been on and off for a while be the side show. Let's say when everybody on community is tired of their contract and fulfilling whatever right. obligations, they'll go just they'll switch over and they'll say, hey, I can come in for an episode or two here. Right. And there. Then we can shift the focus of the show to Jeff. And what's the guy's name? I don't know it yet. I Hickey, don't. I think so. Like yeah, the Jeff and Hickey show. And then whenever Jeff leaves and goes right. on his little side adventure, right. we see, hey, there's Abed this right. episode. Nah, I could do that. You should pitch that. I, I just did. I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, think no, so, totally like, some, somebody right. saw that. Yeah, someone's going to see it probably. Yeah. So, all right. Jeff and um, Hickey. Are we, should I be done with this by now? Listen, you can't rush art. You can, but I shouldn't. But I'm going to start rushing it okay. if we're not, if we're not right. close to done. 
Well, it, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we want to talk about and full fledged, but we don't want to run. The, Forty-five you know, minutes. Yeah. Yes, because we tend to do that. We do. And sorry, I don't know if you were doing that before I came on board. No, no, I please. I was trying to keep it. I'm trying not to bore people. That's and I think I think we're I think we both have that same idea of not trying to bore people, yeah. but at the same time showing how passionate we are with the stuff that we love, and it's we're trying to share to that with everyone through video, with not, sexy jazz music in the background. Yes, that's what, what comes with a Starbucks or any comics. Yeah, bring um, the sexy to the comics. Which, by the way, um, I've been watching Marin on Netflix, right? Been watching what? Marin. He's a guy. He's stand-up comedian. Okay. Mark Marin. Cheech uh, Marin. Mark Marin. Yeah. Um, and he always orders an espresso or rice, mm-hmm. and so I tried that, and um, holy crap! Yeah. That's with coffee. Nice. I just tried coffee. I did with uh, ice. Hazelnut frappuccino. Nice. With no whip. There you go. Uh, hybrid earth. How's that go? Yes, hybrid earth. Still, issue one, number one. Where do I put this? You can, you can For the best, the best, the right. best effect. Right there. Wait, tilt it down right, so you right, can right, see right, the right, logo. Right. Look, see? see? No, that's too much light. Too much. There, right yeah, there, right there. Right there. Right there. Right, there. Right, there. Right, there. right there. Issue one. Issue one. So catch it. I think we'll be at a uh, uh, what is it place? Empire Comics. Right, Empire Comics. What's called? Also, could I throw this up there real quick, and they can oh. just pause oh. it, right? Oh, look. Pause it. That. Get the info. There you go. Boom. All right. Is that new uh, business cards? Semi new. Hey. Just make sure you get all the dots and right. scattered the comics. Wings and stuff. Scattered comics. Yeah. And we actually, I'm doing a lot of prints, which is basically stuff that I want to draw. Right. Show them the rab- show them the rabbit one. The team robin. Look, look at this team robin one. Right. I'll let you show them. Okay. Sure. All right. Look at this team robin one. If you can see black. Right. Right. No, not yet. Yeah. Right. Up, 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 up. There you go. No, that's not it. There you go. Tilt it that way. Yeah. Now explain this premise. So the idea is something happens to Batman. I don't know if we should kill him yet, but right. something happens. We're now uh, Gotham City PD mm-hmm. has an R symbol instead okay. of the bat signal. Right. They shoot it into the sky, and then this team of three guys, Richard Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim right. Drake, all show up to the scene with their individual quirks and characteristics and probably a struggle for leadership. Right. Three Robins. That's amazing. I do love how you made the uh, Nightwing symbol 3D-ish. Yeah. In a draw. I love that. In a Make draw. In a flat, look at this. Flat piece of paper, right? Flat piece of paper. <laughs> 3D effect. This man's an amazing draw. Thank you. Awesome. Right. I don't know why it's a draw. That's not work. It's a cool one. Um, well, all right. So, I'm. And man's almost there. Is that what you're waiting on? No, I'm just trying to come up with things, more things to talk about because we're slowly dying. We're slowly dying. It's a slow death, but it's alright. You can always edit things later. Always, but um. You know what we should do? What's that? I think we should start a podcast with yeah. the same name, and then we can run an hour and just get all of our stuff out. Same music in same. the background? I think so. We can get this. We can get this. We can get this CD, right? Yeah. But the main thing is, I think we need to just get a space. Yeah. We need to find a space, and we can get like a set. I'm still down with the, uh, the sabotage approach. Where we have no permits and we just have a camera and we just run around places. And film. Yeah, that would I would think I would think that would be a good Beastie idea. Boys. Yeah. Did you? Oh, there is something on the internet that I cannot find, but it's a comedic. Someone did a comedic thing where they crossed between the Beach Boys and the Beastie Boys. Really? So it's called the Beachy Boys. I'm gonna search for it. You said you can't find it. I can't find it. And it's the beat. It's the uh, Beach Boys kind of surf music tone. Yeah. But they sing. They're singing the Beastie Boys songs. That sounds like something that uh, what's it called? Danger Mouse would do. 
Yeah, and it sounds great. Yeah. It sounds like an actual thing. Like it, I heard this. I heard this on Jonah Radio, and they did like an infomercial kind of thing, and it sound. It just is like, nah, just sounds amazing. It almost sounds like you can actually buy this album. Yeah, which you can't because it's just a joke premise. You could get it somewhere. I'm hoping you can get it somewhere. Did you ever hear the Gray album? No, it's Gray. Danger album. Mouse. Right. DJ from uh, Niles Barkley. Right. Took the Beatles' White Album. Right. And Jay Z's Black Album. Mm -hmm. And mixed them together. And called it Yang Yang. Called it the Gray Album. Uh, that's not really. You don't really make. What do you make Black gray? and white is gray. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What kind of gray? Like dark gray. I guess it well, could range. Either gray. way, fifty shades. <laughs> there are fifty shades of gray. Uh. Yeah, I know. That was horrible. I but it. yeah, it's on that same note. You should listen okay. to it. I, I'm going to check that out. Is the guy's called Deadma or Danger, Danger Mouse? Mouse. Yeah. Danger and Mouse. And this was pre Gnarls Bark. Pre Gnarls Bark. Okay. So it's not Dead Mouse, it's Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Okay. All right, so how are we. Okay, so this is what's happened with okay. Ant Man. And I've got distracted a few times, but. Oh, yes, and I did go for a Paul Rudd version right. and then scrapped it. Right. So that Let's was see the scrap. No, <laughs> I don't even want to. No. Come on, let you see the scrap version. Look, look. See, that's it. It looks the... like Matt Damon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gosh, well, terrible. we're going to end on that note. Um, no, let's end on this note. Yes, that's going to be. Yeah. Uh, we're going to. What we're going to do with those is every episode. He's going to write, he's going to draw something. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to put it up on, uh, I'm going to make a Facebook page for this. Coffee and comments. And I'm going to put it up. And then you people that have watched this, hopefully, there's some of you. Um, please give us any descriptions or details or, you what know. What you'd like to see. Yeah, what would you like to see or, you know, critiques or show us how you think he would look. And also, um, Maybe we should, uh, at, a, at a certain point when we have a collection of these things, right. we can auction them right. or just put them up for sale right. in general. But or you can just con you can you know make prints out of them. And people, oh, I'm going to do that regardless. Right, and then people yeah. will be like, oh my god, I remember that from this episode. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, did you want to do a live one in Seattle? A live one in Seattle? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah, okay. And I was just talking about that with my wife. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, please find this man, Frederick. Please find me on uh, Facebook. I'm gonna flash. Go ahead. On, on there, go to that website too. Uh, read all the scattered comics, comic books, all of them. Support indie comic books. Uh, you on Instagram? I'm not on Instagram. Twitter? No. Um, I'm barely on Facebook. <laughs> He's Sorry. barely on Facebook, but please support him Just because find me he needs support. And, uh, Can I give my MySpace address? <laughs> no. no, no, no. Um, if you want to look me up, uh, shortnerdyguy.com, uh, Instagram, shortnerdyguy, Twitter, shortnerdyguy, wow. Facebook, shortnerdyguy. I'm trying to run a little, I'm trying to start something. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.